एनपीटी एक्सपीरियंस आज हम बात करेंगे लिसनिंग फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स में जो स्पेलिंग्स आती है बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स को स्पेलिंग्स में प्रॉब्लम होता है कई बार लैक ऑफ राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस और सम टाइम स्टडी में काफी गैप होता है तो स्पेलिंग्स में काफी प्रॉब्लम्स आती है तो उसके लिए हम एक सॉल्यूशन लेकर आए हैं आपके लिए लिसनिंग फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स की जो वीडियो रहेगी उसमें हम 10 क्वेश्चंस को अपलोड करेंगे बट 10 क्वेश्चंस के जितने भी फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स है उसके आंसर्स जो आएंगे वो सारे ही वर्ड्स हमने ऑलरेडी पहले से ही चेक करके उनको पहले आपको फ्रंट पे दिया हुआ है ताकि आप सारे स्पेलिंग्स को एक बार चेक कर सकें फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वीडियो को पॉज करके आप सारी स्पेलिंग्स को देखें अगर आपको लगता है कि किसी भी स्पेलिंग में आपको स्पेलिंग प्रॉब्लम हो सकती है या फिर कहीं पर भी आपको अच्छे से सुनने में प्रॉब्लम होगा तो उसके लिए हम सारे वर्ड्स को प्रनाउंस भी करेंगे और साथ ही साथ आपको आप आंसर चेक कर सकते हैं देख सकते हैं और आपको अगर कहीं पर भी कोई वर्ड डिफिकल्ट लग, लग रहा है तो आप वीडियो को पॉज करके वो स्पेलिंग लिख सकते हैं क्योंकि लिखने से आपको रिकॉलिंग और जो मेमरी है वो ज्यादा फास्ट हो जाती है तो आपका आंसर जब आप वीडियो को लिसनिंग फिलिंग ब्लैंक्स के साथ करेंगे तो वहां पर आपके सारे आंसर ठीक जाएंगे लेट वी स्टार्ट विद द वर्ड्स मल्टी सेल्यूलर प्रोड्यूस्ड थर्ड आंसर इज फ्रीगर्स क्लासिक रीओरियंट ट्रोपिज्म रिसर्चर्स हिट फाइव सिम्टम्स इनिशियल रिपोर्ट मॉडिफाइड डेकेड अपडेट प्रोडक्टिव रिफ्लेक्टेड बोस्ट इक्वल स्प्रिंग gap complements confirmed operation reward charges ordered deconditioned fatigued recognized exercise external increasingly targets exchange additional abducted secure security po protesters cough frustrated restore treated delicately harmony open एक और अंडरकंट डेफिनेशन रेडिकली इकोनॉमिस्ट कैपिटलिस्ट सॉरी कैपिटलिस्टिक पेक्यूलियर सो दीज आर द 55 स्पेलिंग्स व्हिच आर कमिंग इन द अपकमिंग 10 क्वेश्चंस ऑफ लिसनिंग फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स सो प्लीज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट रीड दीस स्पेलिंग्स और यू कैन राइट दीस स्पेलिंग्स इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट इन एनी स्पेलिंग सो प्लीज Watch this video. After watching this video, you can get or you can secure your higher band score in listening. Please watch the video till the end so you can get your desired band score. Warming might seem like a botanical boon. After all, milder temperatures and more carbon dioxide and nitrogen should feed flora. But a 10-year study has found that any initial positive effect on plant growth from climate change may soon disappear. The report is in the journal Nature Climate Change. Researchers transplanted vegetation from four grassland ecosystems to lower, warmer elevations. They also modified the precipitation at the transplant sites based on altered rainfall estimates. For the first year, the plants did great, producing more biomass and churning out more oxygen for us. But their productivity went down for the rest of the decade. What happened? Warming did speed up the nitrogen cycle, which should have increased nitrogen's availability as plant fertilizer. But a lot of the nitrogen left the soil through runoff or uptake into the atmosphere. In addition, productive native plants began to lose out to species that thrive at higher temperatures, but are less productive than the natives. Warmer temperatures may spur immediate growth, but in the long term, we can't expect plants to like it hot. A lot of people just don't feel quite human without that morning cup of coffee. Now a study finds that the enhanced sense of well-being that caffeine can cause is reflected in our perception of words. Specifically, caffeine increases the ability to recognize words associated with positive thoughts, but doesn't provide the same boost for words with negative or even neutral associations. The research is in the journal PLOS One. Scientists assigned 66 subjects to one of two groups. Half got a 200 mg caffeine tablet, a dose equal to almost 3 cups of coffee. 
The other half received a sugar tablet. Thirty minutes later the volunteers were shown strings of letters, and had to decide as fast as they could if a string formed a word or was just gibberish. The volunteers recognized words with positive associations much faster than either negative or neutral words. Other studies have shown that positive words tend to be recognized more quickly, but the caffeine increases the gap. So next time you wake up with a grumpy sweetheart, your compliments might be appreciated more if they have a cup of coffee first. Colombian military and police have confirmed that they have captured Dairo Antonio Usuga, known as Atoniel, Colombia's most sought after drug trafficker and leader of the Clan del Golfo. He was captured on Saturday during an operation carried out by the country's armed forces. Colombia had offered a reward of about $800,000 for information concerning his whereabouts. Italy's right wing former interior minister, Matteo Salvini, went on trial Saturday on charges of kidnapping for refusing in 2019 to allow a Spanish migrant rescue ship to dock in Sicily, keeping the people on board at sea for days. Doctors know a lot about prescribing medications. Take two brisk walks and call me in the morning. But for many patients, a light get moving plan might be just what the doctor should have ordered. Many of us aren't exactly in peak physical condition. But a large number of people are actually deconditioned. So says the Mayo Clinic's Michael Joyner in an essay in the Journal of Physiology. After surgery, illness, pregnancy or extended inactivity for any reason, people might feel faint or fatigued when they try even mild exercise. These signs, Joyner argues, should be recognized by doctors not as symptoms that should be treated with drugs but rather as a medical state of deconditioning that might be better helped with a gentle, guided exercise program. It might sound counterintuitive that fatigue can be beat back with exercise. But remember Newton, LSAAC, not FIG. A body at rest stays at rest. And a body in motion needs to resist external forces acting upon it that might slow it down. UNICEF is warning that schools in Haiti are increasingly at the mercy of gangs, with children becoming targets of robbery or ransom. The agency said Tuesday at least seven schools in the capital of Port-au-Prince have been forced to pay unidentified gangs in exchange for security in the past two months, and that additional institutions have also been threatened. The warning comes days after authorities said gang members killed a university professor, they had recently abducted in addition, U.S. and Haitian authorities are still trying to secure the release of 17 missionaries from a U.S. religious organization who were kidnapped on October 16 near the capital. At least five people were killed and several others wounded when Sudanese security forces opened fire on demonstrators in Tartum and elsewhere in the country Saturday. The Sudan Doctors' Committee said four people died from gunshots and one suffocated from tear gas in Khartoum and Omdurman on Saturday. Several other protesters were wounded, including from gunshots. The rallies came two days after military coup leader General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan reappointed himself the head of the Sovereign Council, Sudan's interim governing body. Thursday's move angered the pro-democracy alliance and frustrated the United States and other countries that have urged the military to reverse its coup and to restore civilian rule. It is not very easy to read the painting because Picasso has treated the composition in terms of a flat pattern of overlapping and interlocking transparent planes. This, the thin delicately brushed paint, and the cool, undemonstrative colors give the painting the appearance of an underwater world of slow-moving calm and harmony, but this is disturbed by what seems to be an impending battle between the fish, baring their teeth, and the crab, with its open claws. Those sharp, pointed forms are echoed by the scales. Even the chain going round one of the fish takes on a more sinister aspect. 
there is an undercurrent of menace and barely suppressed violence that gives the picture a symbolic edge. Socialism, irrespective of its classical or modernistic definition, stands for an organization of society, and more especially for an economic organization, radically opposed to and differing from the organization which prevails today. The so-called orthodox economists of the school of Mill and Ricardo accepted the capitalistic system as part of the order of nature, and their object was mainly to analyze the peculiar operations incident to it. Like, share and subscribe the channel for upcoming videos and also press the bell icon for notifications.